Hi there, hope you are well and having a lovely day. It is a beautiful day here. It's such a lovely spring day with so much sunshine, blue skies. It's quite warm, has been for a couple of days. And yeah, the trees are still quite bare and it's not fully like blooming and sprouting, but you can feel that we're just on the verge of that explosion of life that is spring. So yeah, feeling very good about it. And today I want to talk about the beginning stages of a project that much like spring can be filled with a lot of inspiration and life and new ideas. But we can also get stuck there and not move into the next stage of a project. So I want to talk a little bit about how we can navigate through these early beginning stages, appreciate them for what they are and, and really enjoy them, but also keep moving forward so we don't get stuck in the beginning of a project. So yeah. Let's get into it. So the very first stage of a creative project I call Dawn. So Dawn is when you haven't really started your creative journey with this project yet. You are just still contemplating it. It's this dreamy stage when you are thinking about it, you're toying around with the idea, feeling a little bit of inspiration. It's that hush before the day starts. You are just seeing, seeing a little bit of an inkling at the horizon that hmm, there might be something here. This might be something I want to explore and see what I can turn into. And you might also be toying around with different ideas, different choices uh, for projects that you may want to make. It could be that you are thinking, hmm, I want to write a novel, and you have several different ideas that you're toying around with, vague ideas. Or you're thinking that maybe you want to start a blog, or you want to start a podcast and you haven't decided yet, you're just toying around with it. And this can be a phase that is really inspiring, you can feel like you are uh, thinking about all these fun creative projects that you may do. It's a very dreamy state, a dreamy state. Um, and yeah, so dawn is the, the period when you are thinking about a project but you haven't decided that you really want to pursue it yet. So we can get stuck in this phase, of course. We can get stuck in dreaming, thinking, pondering, and just thinking that, oh, this would be fun to do, but we, we haven't committed yet to anything. We're just in that stage when everything is possible, but nothing is, is not possible because we haven't tried anything yet. And we haven't decided that, oh, I, maybe I can really do this. Uh, it's just still a possibility in your mind. Dawn can be a wonderful phase to be in. It's inspiring, it can be dreaming, everything is possible still, and you're toying around with different ideas, having uh, visions for what it might be like. And I really encourage you to appreciate Dawn for what it is and stay with it for a little bit. Not just rush ahead and be so impatient with wanting to start your project right away. Uh, so there are two sides to this, of course. There's decide that you can rush ahead too quickly and run into a project that you quickly realize isn't the right project. Or you can get stuck in Dawn and never move forward with any ideas because you have many different choices and you can't decide between them. So you don't want to do either of these. You want to find a balance. You want to appreciate Dawn for what it is, but as not get stuck there. Uh, move forward when you're feeling ready to. So in Dawn, I would encourage you to not just sit and dream, <laughs> not just ponder. Do that, absolutely. Be dreamy, uh, think about your different ideas, but don't just do it up here. Try to get your hands a little bit dirty. Dip your toes a little bit. So for example, say that you're pondering if you want to start a blog, but you have many different ideas about what a blog might be about, or, or you write, want to write a novel, but you don't know what you want the novel to be about. You have different sort of ideas. 
it is hard to think yourself to an answer. It's hard to come to a direction just up here. Uh, when we're still up here, everything tends to be quite vague, quite um, hard to grasp. And just to get it, give it a little bit more of that tangible feel to it, try to make a mind map of your different ideas. Uh, what are the connections? Can you combine different ideas? Uh, what are the things that are sparking most joy within those ideas? Um, just try to dig a little bit deeper uh, because that usually helps us to, to articulate things a little bit more, to make them a little bit clearer in our minds and to move forward through dawn into the next stage. So when dawn is drawing to a close, when we are uh, ready for the sunrise, <laughs> uh, that is when we are making a choice. We are making a commitment to this project that yes, I want to do this. I want to move forward and try to pursue this project. So that is when dawn ends and we come to the next stage of a creative project, which I call pathfinding. I knew when you came through the door that you are the love of my life. So when you have left the dawn behind you of your project, you're entering the second phase of the beginning of your project, which is what I call Pathfinder. So Pathfinder is that stage in a journey when you are studying maps, you are thinking, you're planning, you're plotting, you are working on what I call your direction in your creative work and you are maybe starting to, to see just a vague shape of your route from where we are now to your direction. So direction in your credit project is everything that goes into your vision, your why, um, everything that is about what is this project really about, what is it I really want to do here, and defining that so that you know where you're heading towards. And your route is your strategy plan and habits that are going to take you from where you're now to your direction in your project. So when you are in Pathfinder in that stage of your project, you're starting to get to work. So if dawn is when you are still pondering, thinking, dreaming, this is when you actually start to dig in and make things happen. So Pathfinder can be a stage when things get a little bit overwhelming. You are now starting to see, okay, what is it I actually have to do to bring this idea to life? So let's take again the example with, if you think about starting a blog, this is when you're thinking, okay, I need a website to have my blog on. What should a website look like? Uh, how do I even set up a website? What should I blog about? Uh, what kind of topics do I want to have? What kind of content plan can I have? Um, all of these things. And depending on the project, this stage of figuring out the sort of basic foundation for your project to get it up and running can be a very overwhelming process. But Pathfinder can also be one of the most inspired parts of your journey. One of the, the parts when you're really feeling like, oh wow, I'm really gonna do this, and you feel empowered, you feel inspired, you feel very motivated to make this happen. So if you can tap into that side of those feelings of the Pathfinder stage, you are gonna have a marvelous time <laughs> in this stage. The other side, of course, is that it can be a stage filled with doubt, uh, if you really can do this, is this a project that you should even pursue? Maybe you're not good enough. Maybe you can't get to that vision that you have in your mind. And maybe you're, you're not even feeling like you can take it seriously. It's just an, a dream that will never become reality. And you may struggle to prioritize it in your life. Um, all of these things can come up as well in the Pathfinder stage. 
because this is a stage when you're doing work, you're spending time and energy on it, but you are not yet, you don't really have anything to show for it. So if, if you say to someone, hey, I'm starting a blog, then they might, oh, okay, what the blog, what is the blog about? Do you have a blog post I can read? And you're not yet really there. Uh, you are still figuring everything out. So this can be a quite solitary uh, studying of maps <laughs> at a time when you're still, you're still sort of in the planning stage. You're not really in the trenches, but you're still doing very important work. Because maybe you're thinking about how your branding of your website should look. Uh, maybe you're thinking you need some kind of logo. Um, you are thinking about everything that goes into the foundation of your project. And the foundation is important. When we are sort of skipping past uh, the Pathfinder stage and dig right into the project, that's when, when we move ahead a little bit too quickly so we, we feel a little bit lost in our project. So take for example, if you were going on a journey, if you're going on a hike, then when you get out there and you're starting your hike, you need some sort of direction. Otherwise you will just feel lost, you will wander aimless, aimlessly and not be sure where you're headed. So Pathfinder is that stage in your project when you are sort of giving yourself not a too detailed uh, direction because it will probably change anyway. Uh, you don't have to know exactly what you want, uh, but some sort of idea, some direction to head towards as you're moving forward with your project. So we can also get stuck, of course, in the Pathfinder stage. And this is when we're spending a lot of time on all of these things. For example, designing your website. You can spend so much time <laughs> designing your website and obsessing over, oh, do I need a logo and I need to take new photos and for that I need to buy a new camera and I need to have really good website copy and I need to know exactly what categories I should blog about and maybe I should set up an Instagram account first and you get sort of in the cycle of everything needs to sort of be perfect uh, for you to be able to really start it. And this can be a form of procrastination, a form of perfectionism, a form of protecting yourself from the vulnerable parts of sharing your work and, and doing creative projects, which is maybe it won't turn out exactly like you want it to. Maybe you will have a vision in your mind and you can't really get to that vision from the get-go. Uh, maybe you have an idea in your head about what that web website would look like and it would look so nice and cozy and professional and inviting and you can't really get there in your first design of it. Uh, so that's sort of holding you back that you can't get it really to what you want to. Uh, and if you are finding that you're in the pathfinder stage of a project and you are finding that you're sort of obsessing over all these things or you're getting stuck in, in the, all these choices that goes into to exactly what you want to do, what your direction is, try to, to rein in that perfectionism a little bit and see that these things will evolve over the course of your project. You don't have to have the perfect website to start blogging. You just have to have a website that is sort of something that you can use, not being too embarrassed about how it looks. Uh, so see it as a process. I call this draft by draft. So when you first launch your blog, that will be draft one. It won't be perfect. It will have flaws. There will be things that you feel like you could improve, but it's just the first draft. And then you can get to the second draft, you can get to the third draft, and over time you will improve on what it is you're doing. When you come around, hold on now. So 
in Pathfinder, a lot of the things that I've shared content around the last couple of weeks, uh, your vision board if you haven't done that already, can be a great thing to do uh, and also to hold on to during Pathfinder because this is a part in the process that can be really doubt uh, filled so that you, you don't uh, feel like you could <laughs> You, you feel like you might not be good enough to do this project and it can feel hard, it can feel frustrating, it can feel like there is so much to do, so much overwhelm that you might come to a point during the pathfinder stage where you feel like giving up a little bit. And to come back to your vision and come back to your personal why, which I talked about in my last video as well, as well um, to come back to that can be really good to give you that motivation to keep going when things get hard. So yes, everything about branding, um, who, you're, who you want to write for if you're blogging for example, all of these things can go into the Pathfinder stage but also you don't have to figure out everything in this stage. It can be good to explore them, it can be good to think about them uh, but think about it as you have to just get some sort of baseline uh, in place so that you can keep improving on it as you're moving forward. So don't feel like you have to figure everything out. <laughs> you most definitely don't when you're just in Pathfinder. So the reason I wanted to talk about the first two stages of a project, Dawn and Pathfinder, is that a lot of projects come to a halt already here. So either we get stuck thinking that we would want to do some kind of project but we don't know exactly what and we are struggling to make a choice of which way to move towards uh, with direct, which direction to go uh, so we get stuck in Dawn or we get overwhelmed by everything that we need to figure out in Pathfinder and forging our own path and making all of these choices that goes into it, the beginning of a project and that introspection. So, a lot of projects die before they're really even born and I think that's such a shame. I see a lot of people struggling to move into the actual middle of the project. Uh, they get stuck in the beginning because also when you're still in the beginning, you're still in the stage when you can say, oh, I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm capable of doing this. I'm not sure if I'm serious about this. I'm not sure if I, I can do this. So we can sort of cop out and, and uh, back out of it and say, no, I really didn't try, so it's fine if I, if I failed. So this is a way to protect yourself from the vulnerability that goes into a creative project, giving something your all and maybe it's not working out as you want to. Because that's the truth, that's the reality of creative projects. It is a shame that so many projects die in the beginning stage. And so I really wanted to make this video just to give you a little bit of encouragement if you are in the beginning stages of a project to enjoy the process, enjoy the early stages. They are really fun, they can be really inspiring, but also try to keep moving forward so you don't get stuck there. So you actually get to the middle phases of doing your project, really doing it, uh, bringing those ideas to life and, and moving forward like you want to in your creative project. So yeah, that is what I wanted to share about the beginning stages of a project. I really hope that those of you who are in the beginning stages that you feel a little bit more empowered, a little bit more encouraged that you can do this. It is a tricky phase and uh, all phases are tricky in their own way, but it's also so much fun to start a project and it's so much fun to take it from the beginning into the middle as well. And you just have to step one foot in front of the other. You don't have to go fast, you don't have to do anything you feel uh, is too challenging. Uh, you can take it step by step and, and just move into the project a little bit at a time. So it's better to go slowly than to not be moving at all. At all. So just find your own pace forward in this project and make sure that you have fun along the way as, as well.
Before we go, I also wanted to say that I'm now taking on more creative coaching clients. So if you are feeling like you could do with some support in your project, whether you're navigating those beginning phases or if you're further along, if you've gotten stuck or just feel like you want some help to move forward like you want to in your project, check out my coaching packages. I will leave the links down in the description and just reach out if you have any questions. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that you're having a lovely day. And if you're new here, hello and welcome. I will see you in the next video.